Well, worm and caterpillar season is definitely upon us. And if you have some trees or shrubs in your landscape that you have a history of having insect problems like that, you need to be out in your landscape inspecting the foliage. And that means looking underneath those leaves on the branches and twigs and trying to see if there's any of those insects starting out ahead of time. It's not uncommon for the immature, the small caterpillars to start emerging this time of year. And here we are with the walnut tree, and one of the favorite pests is the uh, fall webworm, which gets on pecan trees and other similar trees, hickory, that kind of thing. Remember, the fall webworm is the caterpillar that spins the web on the foliage and feeds on the foliage from the web. And again, this time of year, you'll start seeing them emerging and starting to form and build the web, and that's the easiest time to control them. Another common insect on those same trees is the eastern tent caterpillar. That particular caterpillar builds its webbing around the crotches of the tree in the branch limbs and it will actually crawl from the webbing and then feed on the foliage at night. So it's a little different caterpillar. And then a third one that you need to be on the lookout for is called the walnut daytana or walnut caterpillar. And it doesn't build a web, it just congregates all of the caterpillars on the trunk of the tree and then at night they crawl up and defoliate the tree as well. All of these insects can be heavy feeders and feeding on the foliage actually will shorten the life of a tree if it's very serious or maybe reduce a harvest load for you. A couple of other ones I want to show you that are a problem this time of year is the bagworm and we talked about this last fall but these are already the early symptoms where the little baby bagworms are already starting to skeletonize the leaves and, and build their cocoons. Now this is the old bagworm cocoon from last season. They've already emerged, and again, here they are feeding on the leaf, and this is an oak leaf, and you can see they're doing quite a number, and they're very small, about the size of a pencil lead. And this is a time of season that it's easiest to control them. If you wait till they get big like this, you almost have to use a ball peen hammer to control them. So get out in your yard and look around. Another one that people get scared about this time of year is phylloxera gall on pecans and walnuts, those kinds of things. Other trees will get galls as well, oaks too. But what happens as the leaves are unfurling, the adult emerges and stings the leaves and kind of causes it to be misshapen and forms a leaf and it looks like this. And if you break those open, you'll see eggs inside them where they've laid the eggs and it's just a protective covering for the young ones. They'll emerge, again, it doesn't really hurt the tree, but it really is a nuisance as far as looking at it and the appearance. But if you'd like any kind of control recommendations, be sure and contact your county extension office because they'll help you with a lot of the things you need to control. But don't forget, get out in your landscape now and catch them when they're small. It's sometimes easier just to pick them off when they're that small. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.